Let me, you know, we've talked about a, th four proposals here now. They have a lot in common, but there are distinctions among them. There's a lot for us to talk about. The first thing I want to do is I want to make room for Mark to come up and join us <laughs> at the table here, and um, which is going to be easier said than done. No, no, no. Okay, you can you can talk from there. Okay, good, fine, fine. Please have a seat. Okay, so Mark is on the panel. Stand at the podium. Right there, we go. His name's oh, it's turned around, but it's uh, he's 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 there. So, <laughs> so why don't first of all let me. Um, make a couple observations before we start to try to put all this in context a little bit. Um, I think the first, all four proposals bear uh, the, the, the uh, common, have the common feature that the, the benefits for employees are variable. There is intended to be a minimum guaranteed benefit which is provided, but there is an upside which is available if plan assets do well. Um, and and the, it, it, in addition, obviously, these are pension plans, so they're providing lifetime income uh, automatically. Um, and uh, the, the flip side of this is that there's much less risk uh, for the employer of funding volatility and financial volatility. Uh, I think in the first three proposals, there is still some possibility for that. But in the fourth proposal that Karen discussed, it really actually, from the employer's point of view, looks like a defined contribution plan because the employer puts in the money at the beginning and that's it. Is that, is that fair? Yeah. The other thing I guess I would say is in the second two proposals, the variable annuity plan and the portfolio cash balance plan, the adjustment is automatic in the benefit based on investment performance. Uh, it happens automatically. There's no intermediation. Uh, whereas I think in the, in the POP and in the RSF, there is this intermediation. The employer has to decide whether it wants to dedicate investment returns to increasing benefits. And in the RSF, there is a board, a governing board, which decides if benefits are to be cut and when and by how much, or if they're to be increased and when and by how much. Karen, is that, is that fair? Okay. So, there, there's a lot in common, but there's some distinctions among them. 